Hey, how the fuck is everyone doing? I have to re-record this because I've had some issues with sound with the past few videos. I think it's because I had my volume set up too high, but I've turned it down a lot now. So like 5, max is 25, I don't know. Hopefully I can, you can hear me a little bit better now. Uh, before we get started, I have a message to my friend Quad Laser Sean. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box. You buttfucker, when are we going to finish our Resident Evil 5 playthrough? That's all. Alright, let's get started. I got a tip last night from my fence. Heartless Perry. A nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel and showed up at a local inn well after nightfall and in a foul mood. He's carrying a velvet bag about the size of a man's fist and it never leaves his sight. Sounds likely to be valuable, but I'll know for sure when I steal it from him. Perry sent over a floor plan of the place, the Blue Heron Inn. Finding his lordship won't be hard. His room number will be in the guest register, if I can get to the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many as a private estate. That should make things easy, which is one of the reasons I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Lord Julian is so protective of that bag. There's got to be something of value in it. Okay, tutorial mission, it forces you to play on normal mode for this one, so that's what I'll be doing. 40% loot, find at least one special loot item. There are no special loot items on the tutorial. Check out our goals, break into the inn, find out where Lord Julian is, steal his bag, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Start with your blackjack and dagger, you start with a small amount of water arrows. Doesn't matter though, because you'll get a fresh uh, supply of equipment on the next level so even though you'll find a few water arrows on this level but it doesn't matter because you're gonna get a full stock when you start the actual first mission so let's get underway That's a good tip, avoid fighting more than one opponent at a time. You should avoid fighting whenever you can actually because you're a thief, not a warrior. Garrett is not good at fighting things. Unless you, uh, still, unless you, like, stab someone in the back, that he's good at, but... I'm gonna be trying to, I'm, since I'm gonna be playing on expert, I'm gonna try to do this without killing anyone. I'll be using my blackjack, my gas arrows and bombs to knock people out, and my flash bombs to escape, and my moss arrows to you know, stun enemies and stuff, but I'm not going to be actually physically killing anyone. Because I'm a thief, not a murderer. I wonder what this guy's looking at. We got his back to an open gate. He's not looking in the direction that he should be. What a doof. water arrow there doesn't matter I'll have 25 when I start the next mission I need my blackjack that is a really small club Sounded like, ooh. I just killed him. I, I think I just... Oh no, he's fine. He fell down the ladder, but he's fine. Lord Julian. <laughs> Wouldn't do to have anyone think he was just Julian. He'll tell me if I killed him at the end, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Silver goblet worth 50 coins. If you use gold to buy your supplies like your flash bombs and healing potions and stuff. So the difficulty increase the higher the difficulty, the more loot you have to get in a mission to complete the objective. But you should be going for as much as you possibly can anyway, just so you can afford more stuff. Here, go chase this. Hey! Alright, what's all the noise about? Better check by the door. 
yeah, you go go do that. Um, take this. His lordship has gone for a walk. Can't have gone far. Now watch, I'm gonna steal this shit. He's not it's a notice. waste, is what it is. Should have bloody known. Well, what never idiot. learned. He has no idea. Something good for you. Every evening after sunset, around my 12 inch blackjack comes through that gate and into the courtyard. <sighs> no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening, and then we cut our way through. Five good men against 20, and my accursed cousin. <gasps> Found out! I, I can't see! Close one. Someone there? I've still got the goods. Clear yourself. Nothing like mixing in society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. But I need a better idea where to start looking. If I show the medallion to my fence, I'm sure he'll know more. Heartless Perry always does. Opponent's blackjack, opponent's killed zero. Okay, I did it. All right. I had my fence take a look at Lord Julian's medallion. Perry says the crest belongs to the Rutherfords, one of the oldest so-called great families with a castle in South Quarter and a street named after them. They've got a lot of wealth and a nasty reputation for turning on each other. Based on that conversation I overheard, Julian is definitely carrying on the family tradition. Lord Ember, Julian's cousin, currently resides in the castle, and Julian wants revenge. Julian had a good plan. Hide inside a supply cart and ride in after dark, then signal the cook to open the side door by putting out the lion's head torch in the courtyard. A good enough plan for me to use myself. That bloodline opal sounds valuable, and it's better off with me than sitting around in their vault. But I can't get lazy. Ember will have his personal guard, and doubtless a few other family tricks in store for anyone who comes after the opal. Alright, finally, set it to expert. 90% loot, find all three special loot items, kill no non-combatants. <clears throat> this one doesn't matter since I'm not going to be killing anyone at all. Of course, they have all the opponents have everything at very high, and you have everything at very low. Goals: get into the castle, find out how to open the vault, get into the vault and steal the opal. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Profit, leave. So I got to put out the lion's head torch for the guy, the cook, to open the door for me. But I'm actually going to be taking a different route in the castle. It works better for me in planning my loot run. Okay, now, you start with 25 water arrows, 20 broadhead arrows, 5 noisemaker arrows, you got your blackjack and dagger, 8 flash bombs, and you get a health potion to start with. These are like really, really common, so it doesn't matter. I'm probably going to find like 3 of them within the castle somewhere. I'm going to try not to get take any damage though, because I want to conserve these for the second half of the game, so I don't have to waste my gold on them. But, let's get going. There's the torch. Good to see you. Now to give the signal. It's out. I hope that cook is as good as his word. You didn't see me. None of you guys saw me. Go away. Okay, I'm in. I always like going through this window first. There's a health potion. There's nobody here. Uh. 
Hey, look, free stuff. Go this way. This guy's not even here yet. Supposed to be a guy who wanders back and forth here, but he's not yet. There should be a guard in here. Yep, there he is. Corpse, I guess he killed himself. Huh? No. Mama, I don't want any more porridge. Ah, why am I trying to knock him out? He's already sleeping. open for me. I'm just going up here to get the goblet. Alright. Now, where's the... Go down that way. Yes, thank you. Hey, that's not funny. I can't see. Uh -oh. I just heard the strangest noise. Help! He's on the stairs. Oh, is she fucker. I can't believe that prick saw me. Sounded like. <laughs> Is somebody around? No. There's nobody here opening this door with loot in it. There. That's something, alright. No, it's not. It's nothing. Oh well. That's why I got those health potions. Find you anyway, so why not just come out? I got enough health still. I'm about 70%. this guy now. Not here. Let's move on. Five damage from one arrow. That's pretty sick, but so it is expert, I guess. Nope, you don't hear me. Milady Elizabeth is a proper lady. Faintest you don't hear me. <laughs> and she can write in both ancient brilliant and modern prinkish. Well, I guess that's something. Your Lord Ember's knowledge of the world is limited to the names of his ancestors and equine diseases Don't of the mouth. I do ah! Now what? I swear, sometimes the noise is around here. Go, go, go. Alright. That 
asshole got me last time. I'm not gonna mess with him. Better make sure I wash my hands when I get out of here. Right. Where's that guard at? Thought you could hide. Yep, he found me. I gotta go this way anyway. Aha! Oh. Found you, killer! Oh my god, there's two of them. Little help? I order you to stop! No. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Let's see what you've got. There. What? Where, where, where is it? Get away from me. Oh, that's the guy that was standing here. Okay, that sort Should of makes sense. first. Rolling in the city street would look bad, but if I show so, Lord Ember's room should be finished. Very st my word. <laughs> I had thought you were some danger. Oh, what? Come back here! I'll kill you. Another medallion. Wonder if anyone will pay more for a matched set. Looks like a hammer, but it's actually a ring. Oh. Uh, yeah, in here. Oh well, I don't mind taking. Jenny was up all night like sewing the new uniforms for Lord Ember. Hands all bloody this morning. And Julian will change them right back when he returns. Oh, I know Stare someone's there. Come out. Why don't you go do that, bitch? Cook's supposed to be in here. Oh, well, I guess he's gone. There, a health potion. Cool. I need those. Um, I think there is a goblin in here. Oh, there's the cook. Hello? Uh. Nope, nope, nope. I'm getting away from you. Oh my! You stay away from me! Nope. Two. I think this one's loot. Yep. Oh, it's, that's loot up there. That's loot over there on the table. 90%, got it. So all that leaves is the vault. I'm out of here. I'm gonna take... I think I can go this way to get out of here. Yes, yes I can. Should only have two or three more guards to deal with. Oh, that's something else about the bodies. When you kill someone and it leaves blood stains on the ground, you can actually use your water arrows to clean them up and seal the evidence. So if you really, really don't want to be caught when you kill someone, you should clean it up. But you're likely going to get hurt anyway because their enemies are really, really loud when they die. Well, back 
work, That's guess. why I choose to knock him out instead, because it's quiet. Uh, Nobody hears it. Stomach's growling away. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Almost dropped off. <clears throat> Someone there? Nope, no one's there. Haha. <laughs> Alright, vault's down here. Just gotta get the opal and get the hell out of here. The Rutherford family vault. That opal is as good as mine. So this is what they all wanted. Well, it's better off with me. Clears the way, so there's pretty much should be no resistance getting out of here now. That guy's still knocked out. What's that then? Hey, what? Did I just see something? No. You didn't see anything. I'm out of here. The bloodline opal's mine now, and based on the size of this thing, I'd say it was worth it. But something tells me this Lady Elizabeth character had her own plans for the Rutherfords. I'd better get the opal to Perry soon. He can cut it into smaller stones that are easier to move. And we'll both make a tidy profit. Fuck you, Perry. I get the money for myself. Alright, let's see what happened. 11 minutes, that's my best time. Loot, 100%. I got caught 8 times, or whatever. Knocked out 8 guys, no guys killed. Took some damage, but whatever. I got out of it. I am pretty much got almost full health. Alright, all things are cheap. Even got some health potions out of it, and some broadhead arrows. South Quarter, one of the city's most crowded residential districts in the center of town, near the river. It's not wall-to-wall -wall nobility like Haldale, but there's money here, if you know where to look. South Quarter's where I live, so I guess this is home. As long as I behave myself, I can go anywhere and do as I please, and the residents won't give me any trouble. But the city watch will. The entire force knows what I look like, and they'll attack me on sight. If I don't stay out of the way of their patrols, I might be looking at some jail time, or worse. First thing I need to do is see my fence, Heartless Perry. His shop is down in Black Alley. I'm bringing Perry the bloodline opal. I don't want to hang on to this stone any longer than I have to. Something about that job has left me with a bad feeling. Alright, I'm going to stop here for now.